Stillers 365 here on Trip Live Radio, brought to you by Mr. Magic Car Wash. Five big locations in Pittsburgh to serve your car washing needs all winter long. Brentwood, Castle Shannon, Banksville Road, Upper St. Clair, and Bridgeville. And, of course, they're online at MrMagicCarWash.com. Voted the best car wash by Trip Total Media readers in 2014. Not surprising about the Steelers-Colts game yesterday. The Steelers' D giving up 34 points. Cortez Allen getting benched for Antoine Blake because he was so bad. Darius Hayward Bay having a brutal fumble in the second half. And Ben Roethlisberger getting a stupid punt blocked with 35 seconds left in the first half. Everything else pretty much a surprise. 51 points. Absolutely ridiculous day for the Steelers' offense. Oh, my, indeed. The front page of the Trib Sports section today. Record-setting day. What does it mean? Is this the real Steelers? Are the real Steelers the team that got beat 31-10 to by Cleveland, put up 10 points of offense in Jacksonville? Or was the Monday night game against Houston, that second quarter breakout, three touchdowns in less than a minute and a half, the spark, the catalyst, the addition of Martavis Bryant to the offense that has put this team back in Super Bowl consideration? I have no idea. It's a matchup league. Clearly, the Colts' defense is not a good matchup for the Steelers. But this is the same Colts team that had won five in a row and had just shut out the Bengals, shut out the Bengals the previous week. They come to Pittsburgh and allow 34 first downs, third highest in a game in Steelers' history, the most they've had since 1979. 639 yards of total offense, the third highest in Steelers history, most in a game since an overtime game against Atlanta in Ought 2. And Ben Roethlisberger, almost a record-setting day in the passing game, of course. 522 yards. Could have broken Norm Van Brocklin's all-time mark, 32 yards shy of it, if the Steelers hadn't kneeled the game away. And, as everybody said in the postgame, and I agree with them, They left plays on the field. Two fumbles, not just the Hayward Bay fumble, but the blunt fumble in the red zone. And that's, you know, already into a short yardage. But also, Bryant with a drop that could have gone for big yards. Ben Roethlisberger missed a couple throws, deep balls. And still he goes 40 for 49 and six touchdowns, no picks, no sacks. And I think really against a Colts team that had 20 quarterback takedowns in the last five weeks, For this Steelers offensive line, missing their starting right tackle, Marcus Gilbert, Mike Adams comes in. you got to give Mike Munchik and that group of hogs big-time credit. I have never seen Ben Roethlisberger have that kind of a time in a football game. Never, ever in his entire career has he been that clean, particularly when he's throwing the ball 49 times. He basically stood back there and did whatever he wanted all day long. Blitz, no blitz, and... That's maybe the most encouraging thing of all. Or it could be the Colts were a bit of a fraud. They got a lot of their sacks on scheme, not individual talent the past couple weeks. And the Steelers studied up and they took care of that scheme. But I think there's a little bit of balance to be had here. Every team has one game every year where they look like gangbusters and they look like they're Super Bowl contenders. Not every team has a quarterback like number seven that can put up 522. And no quarterback has ever put up 500-plus two times in their career. I'm sure that'll happen at some point. Yes, the rules make it easy to put up yards these days. But there are a lot of bad quarterbacks, too, that can't put up 200. So quite the day at Heinz Field. We'll be talking about it all week, heading into the big-time Sunday night game against the Baltimore Ravens this Sunday night here at TribLive.com.